it's Nicole here today for Lawn Fawn with this set of six shaped gift card holder cards featuring the Woodland Critter Huggers and Winter Add-ons. And I'm even going to share a couple of ideas on how to customize and create some additional critters that you maybe haven't thought of. There are going to be details on the back of the cards, on the inside of the cards, a great place to tuck your gift card, and then of course these adorable critters that really could maybe you could even string some um, twine through, hang them on a tree, use them as decoration. They stand up because they are a card, so they're just really fun to create. This is a three inch wide by 11 inch long piece of cardstock that I'm going to take the woodland critter hugger die and I'm going to make sure that the ears are hanging off the top across the seam of the card. This is standard eight and a half by 11 inch cardstock that I cut to three inches and that's just to give me a little wiggle room and then I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine. This is going to make the card base and I taped mine in place with a little repositionable uh, post-it tape. We're going to pop this out here and there's a little bit left on the arms and we're simply going to trim that off. I've got some nice long scissors from Tim Holtz and we're just going to trim off those sides and this creates our fantastic card base. Simple as that. Next, we are going to adorn the back. So taking the card base, I'm going to take the little stitched heart from the stitched gift uh, card pocket that's meant to work with the um, woodland critter huggers. I've also die cut my pocket from the same color of cardstock that I used for the base of the critter card. I'm going to put some 1 8 inch score tape around the sides take off that adhesive and then adhere this to the inside of the card. So when you open up the critter, there's a spot for your gift card. And then that little stitched heart is on the back and we're gonna adorn that with a little plaid heart. Let's build our critter. You can see I've already pre-die cut all of the pieces down here um, at the bottom of the screen. It just makes creating this so much easier. I've got the ear muffs from the winter add-ons for the Woodland Critter Huggers. And I'm gonna put some glue all over the earmuff portion and take some of that awesome chunky glitter from Lawn Fawn and adorn my earmuffs so they're really glittery. The thing I think that sets these apart and makes these so much fun, at least for me, they were super fun to create, is the embellishment. And so I was really conscious and aware of those little finishing details that set these apart. We're gonna build our little owl with the face, a nose, the eyes, the cheeks, all of the things, the little insides of the ears, the belly portion, of course the feet. And I do wanna mention, I am not gonna create all of these on camera. Um, they are all uh, very similar. It's just a lot of die cutting and a lot of assembling, but I did want to show you um, some of the steps for embellishing and of course putting together from start to finish at least one or two of these so that hopefully it gives you an idea of how easy this is to do. I find it easiest to die cut all of my elements first and then assemble the whole thing. So I really, I had my, my little shaped card base. I've got my critter, I've got the pocket for the inside, and then I will add all of the embellishing. Now the winter add-on, I am just in love with this. I love that Lawn Fawn has these add-ons for so many of their fantastic dyes. In the winter add-on, there's mittens, there's a scarf, there's a, um, earmuffs, there's a Santa hat a gift package, a mug and whipped topping, a gingerbread man, holly and berries, candy cane, all the things. So anything you could possibly need to embellish. Now I'm taking Nuvo Crystal Drops in White Blizzard to make the cheeks sparkly. We're gonna use glossy accents for the beak and I'll do that here in just a little bit. Now, something that I think makes these critters really pop is customizing the scarves. That was kind of the central point, or um, not central point, but the uh, focus 
of each of these is a plaid scarf. And I'm gonna do this by taking the Lawn Fawn Gingham Backdrops, and I'm going to stamp whichever color of scarf they're wearing, whether it be red or green, with this gingham backdrop with black ink. This is the Lawn Fawn Black Licorice ink, so that they have a plaid scarf. I masked off the fringe along the bottom so that it gave it a little bit more interest and you can definitely see that fringe detail a little bit better. We're gonna assemble the scarf and then that's gonna be tucked right underneath their sweet little faces on each and every critter. I also kept my color palette to red and green. Very, very traditional Christmas colors. Um, white as well with the white mittens, but as far as color goes, red and green, and then the critter, whatever color for my critters. Glossy accents for the beak. When that glossy accents is all the way dry, we're gonna add a highlight with a white pin on top of the dry glossy accents to give it a little highlight mark to really make it shine. These earmuffs might be my favorite thing out of all of this. I absolutely love them. How sweet is this little owl? I think she's just adorable. The uh, mittens have a stitched snowflake. I adorned some of them with Nuvo Crystal Drops and White Blizzard, some with Gloss White, just depending to add a little sparkle to that. And then I'm adding Ranger Multi Matte Medium, or you can use whatever liquid glue you want to the tops of the feet, to parts of the scarves, maybe parts of the other critter. It just kind of depended on the critter. And that is so I can add the Lawn Fawn Prisma Glitter. So it almost looks like little sparkles of snow um, on each of the critters. So just little areas, it doesn't, wherever you want. I tried to do it kind of minimal. I didn't want it to overpower, but I loved the addition of the sparkle for these. On the inside of our shaped card, I kept it pretty minimal. We want a little spot to write our name if that's how you're giving this. I think these would be cute tied to packages as well. And I stamped a gift for you on almost all of them. This sentiment is from the Lawn Fawn Say What Christmas Critters stamp set. I did change that up. I believe on maybe just one of the cards, the card where I created a penguin and I used Have a Cool Holiday from the same stamp set. So it really just depended on um, the critter I was using, what sentiment, you could mix them up and make them all different, you could make them all the same. A gift for you would work for the penguin as well. I just decided to switch it up a little bit right there. But I am adding some little white pin marks now. Um, I added it to the nose, I'm adding it to the top of the owl's head just to finish her off. Um, complete her. We're going to tuck some candy canes into her arms. And then I did die cut a little heart. And I found one from one of my other die collections from Lawn Fawn. This is actually from the mini pop up box, but I'm sure there's many, many die collections that will have a heart that works. This just happened to fit right inside that stitched heart I put on the back. And I made sure I die cut this from some of the stamped cardstock. Um, the red cardstock I'm using is the Lawn Fawn Chili Pepper cardstock, and then I'm going to adorn the little backside of my critter with this Buffalo Check plaid heart. Finishing details are what make these so super special. Now, the reindeer has always been one of my very favorites from the Woodland Critter Hugger, so we are going to have a couple of options here. Um, we're going to have one decked out with a red scarf and hat, one decked out with a green scarf, and some holly and berries, just to mix it up a little bit. Again, anything that's plaid has been custom stamped with that gingham backdrop. Really easy to do. I left it in my Misty and just stamped the images as I went along. I'm also adding that fantastic chunky glitter to the brim of the hat and the pom-pom for this little guy. I love the addition of the glitter for all of these critters. I think it really adds a lot to the design. Now, my reindeer have little tails. The reindeer and the fox are gonna have their tails for those critters. Now, depending on what critter you're making, you can add a tail or not. Glossy accents for the nose, Nuvo Crystal Drops and White Blizzard for the cheeks. That gives them that great little bit of sparkle. 
You could also use a Wink of Stella clear glitter brush pin or if you don't have either of those and you do have the Prisma glitter, just add a little gl uh, glue to the cheeks and then add the Prisma glitter. Now for any of the images that have a mug with the, the uh, whipped topping, I added a snow pin to that, which you just dab on the pin, heat it, and it puffs up, which makes the perfect whipped topping on a little mug of hot cocoa. So this reindeer is holding a mug of hot cocoa. Um, I found another small heart. This also is from that same mini pop-up box. I love being able to go through the dies I already have and finding ways to implement little images into what I'm working on. We're customizing this mug and making it a polka dotted mug. It's got a little black heart on the center because it has a stitched heart design, but I like adding that smaller heart inside, just like we did like on the back side of the critters. Glossy accents over the heart. We're gonna finish by adding our Prisma glitter to the tips of the antlers to the tips of the feet, the tail, the scarf, just little areas where maybe snow has gathered on our critter. And of course, we added our pocket inside and we have the little plaid heart on the back side of our critter and some glossy accents on the eyes. If the eyes are round on any of the critters, and that's gonna be one of the reindeer, the penguin, or the polar bear, I added glossy accents to the eyes so that they really popped. Here's the little pocket for the inside of the second card. I like to use a bone folder to make sure that score tape is really nice and secure. I'm putting score tape on the front of my shaped card as well, and then we can pop our reindeer in place once we have him all put together him or her. Little insides of the ears. All of these little bits and pieces make these so, so special. These are super fun to create as well. I think that they would be kind of fun for maybe not a little, little kid, but um, a younger child die cut all the pieces and have fun putting these together. Um, I think these would be really cute to give um, gift cards for teacher gifts and things like that. Uh, maybe you have a little gift and you want to just tuck a little gift card um, inside of here and tie this to a package. I think that would be super sweet and fun. I love having these kind of cards on hand so that when I need a quick gift card gift, I'm, it's easy to do that. So this is the polar bear. And I'm gonna show you how I adjusted this to make this work for a polar bear. Um, the penguin's pretty self-explanatory. I really used most of the same pieces. I'll show you a little bit more about that in a bit. But for the polar bear, the, the pointed ears just didn't really work. So I am covering up the ear piece of this with what actually is the earmuffs from the winter add-on. And I'm just trimming off, snipping off the tip of the ears here, adding a white on white underbelly. I have die cut the earmuffs twice, once for the, we're gonna use two for the ears, and then we're gonna use another one for the nose area or the snout of our polar bear. So it's all white on white. We've got some light gray feet going on. I had asked my daughter um, as I was making these, I was, she was like, oh, these are so cute. Um, are you just making winter animals? And I said, yeah, I'm really trying to focus on winter animals. And she goes, make a polar bear. And I was like, oh, I don't know how. And so I really had to think about it um, and kind of look at the dyes I had and see if there was a way that I could arrange the ears and the face uh, to work for kind of what I had imagined in my head. And it really turned out great. She loved how it turned out. I think this might be her favorite one. So um, big thanks to my daughter for uh, suggesting trying to make a polar bear here. I think even with the white on white, 
you get the detail of this sweet little critter. Very much like the others, I'm adding mittens. I am putting something heavy on top to hold that down. I don't use a lot of liquid glue unless I'm doing something like this where I do not want it to fall apart by any means. Because if if you, the recipient ends up using this as an ornament, hangs it on a tree, hangs it on a package, it's going to take a lot more abuse than it would if it was just a card. And so the liquid adhesive did not want to stay put on anything like the arms, the flaps of the arms, because when they moved up, it, they would kind of move. So I tried to put something heavy on top until that glue dried all of the way. I'm gonna use my scarf to gauge where I wanna put the face. Because I'm not using the die cut face piece that I've used for all of the rest of the cards, for the owl, the reindeers, the fox, and the penguin, I needed to kind of see exactly where I want that to go. So there's that other ear muff, the nose, and you can see that polar bear's face starting to take shape. I, it was about this point that I thought, yeah, this is going to work. So I was really, really excited about that. We're going to add in the eyes. We'll add the pink cheeks because I think those are so sweet. While I didn't do this today, I do want to suggest if you ever don't have a certain color of cardstock, um, that you might want. So for example, the pink of the cheeks. If you don't have one, you can always die cut the elements from white cardstock and color them in either with ink or markers so that you get the exact shade that you want. So if you don't have a certain color of cardstock, consider die cutting your elements from white and coloring them in and customizing them yourself. Again, the holly and berries, uh, I did this for both. Once I had them assembled, um, I drew a little white line on the leaves to give them a little bit of customization. And then I'm covering them with Nuvo Crystal Drops and White Blizzard so they're sparkly. Um, I really like anywhere that I can add a little bit of sparkle and shine for these holiday gift card holders, I tried to do that. Now I forgot to do this before I added the mittens, so I'm gonna have to do it now because I really, the cuffs of the mittens are white and next to the white polar bear, I felt like they needed a little something to jazz them up. So I'm adding glue and then I'm sprinkling on the chunky glitter. It's my favorite, I love it. I think it's fantastic for accessorizing. And the little cuffs then are gonna be sparkles with that nice chunky glitter. And then we'll tuck some little things into the hands of our polar bear. This little guy is going to have a gift package and a candy cane. I used candy canes, gift packages, the mugs, and the fox is holding a gingerbread man that I customized with Nuvo Crystal Drops as well. Don't forget glossy accents for nose and eyes. I think faces are super important. Um, whether you're stamping and coloring or die cutting, I always try to find a way to make the eyes really pop. It makes a huge difference in critters, especially. So let's take a look at all of the finished cards. Here's the first one we did, the owl card, holding some little candy canes. And then you can see the finished penguin. That was created with all of the same dies as well. And I just want to show how a gift card fits in here. Isn't that cute? It fits perfectly. So, so super cute and fun. Very easy. Slides right in. I just love these. I hope you guys are inspired to maybe try your own. So again, the owl. I guess we'll talk about the fox next and I'll talk about the penguin in a minute. Gingerbread man. Isn't he cute? little green heart on the back side. Very fun. I like the greens with the oranges of the fox. Here are the two reindeer, one in green, one in red. All of them exactly the same on the inside as far as a little pocket and a greeting. All of them the same on the back with that little plaid heart, whether it be in red or green. 
The penguin's feet are actually the tip of the fox's tail. I thought I'd mix it up a little bit, but all the other elements are the same. Now I did make the card base white instead of black, just because I wanted to be able to write a sentiment on the inside of the card. And then of course the polar bear that we just created where we used the earmuffs for the face and for the ears. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for these Winter Woodland Critter Huggers shaped gift card holders. Please be sure to visit the Lawn Fawn blog for more information on this project. Don't forget to subscribe to the Lawn Fawn channel for more inspiration. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and we'll see you next time.